Ever wondered why so many rock bands have a lead vocalist, a guitarist, one bassist and one drummer? Well, they weren't the first to use this setup. Power Metallica like Vivaldi. Can you imagine a rock band in the 1600s, like Metallica, but in wigs and robes? Actually, this image is not far from the truth. In fact, the setup of a modern rock band is exactly the same as a baroque ensemble. Not convinced? Let's have a look at what each band member does. In the late 17th century, Italian composers began experimenting with a new form of ensemble known as the concerto. In a concerto, a soloist is accompanied by an orchestra consisting of strings, bass and continuo. In a band, a lead guitarist or singer is backed by the rhythm section consisting of a rhythm guitar, bass guitar and drums. The soloist forms the main melody. He or she will alternate between playing with the orchestra and playing solos. The soloist is similar to the lead vocalist or lead guitarist in a band who also sings or plays the main melody of a song. The string section plays any secondary melody or accompaniment together. They also make the sound of the orchestra fuller by playing the chords. That's exactly what the second guitarist or rhythm guitar does in a band. They support the main melody with rhythmic accompaniment. Then comes the bass. Just as in rock music, the bass line can be considered the second most important part in Baroque music. In Baroque music, this part is frequently played by a cello or a viola da gamba. They should always coordinate carefully with the final piece of the puzzle, the continuo player. Basso continuo, or through bass, is the hallmark of the Baroque period. The continuo part is played by a harpsichord, organ, lute or any combination of these. And while the soloist may be the centre of attention, the continuo is the backbone of the orchestra, just like the drummer is in a band. Both the drummer and the continuo are often seated in the middle, where they can easily make eye contact with everyone. In a rock band, the drummer provides the rhythm and tempo. Everyone connects with the drummer in order to keep time, but without the drummer, the band might fall apart. The continuo player does exactly the same thing. He or she makes sure everyone plays together and support the entire orchestra. A continuo player will play both the bass line and the chords. They can play from a full orchestra score or more frequently from a figured bass, a kind of code where the player can deduce which chord to play from just the bass line and some numbers which indicate the missing notes. If you see an ensemble with a continuo player, notice how he or she will look at the other players when they come in, keeping everyone together and deciding on the tempo. So, next time you're rocking out to some heavy metal, remember, it's just Vivaldi reimagined.